What's up today, boys and girls? Today I want to talk about Allison transmission tuning, specifically with this generation truck, 2000 to 2007. I will show you the extra details on doing a 2008 or newer. <clears throat> so basically, if you want to watch this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know. If you change your tire size, if you change your gears, so on and so forth. But most of all, I want to talk about the common problem with these six-speed Allisons and these older trucks. And that is when you're on the highway, especially if you're running a bigger tire, these trucks do not like to use fifth gear. I'm going to show you why, explain to you why, and what you do to change that and fix that. Because I've been aggravated by this thing for quite some time with the old you know on the highway and it don't want to use fifth gear so then smashes back to fourth and you're revving too much it's a big block it don't need to do that but even if you're running a duramax i know a lot of guys in the duramax trucks are having the exact same issue and i can tell you when it comes to tuning vehicles when you're doing cars or you know swap applications i guess this is a swap too but it's a stock chev motor um that stuff tends to be a bit easier than when you get into tires and gear sizes and all that stuff so again the fifth and sixth gear issue with these trucks not wanting to stay in fifth and use it it's just as soon as they go into fifth they want to shift to six so let's get in here and i'll show you what goes on so most generally if you're new to hp tuners this is real good information for you most guys when you're on this you go into shift scheduling and this gives you your table with all your shift speeds and what i've found over the last while learning myself and again you know you do this this is all your own discretion i'm not uh, there's no warranty on this so you know user beware but you watch my videos i use this truck quite hard it gets worked hard and again i wasn't real happy with the shifting especially leaving six and always going to fourth and as you can see i've got my sixth gear turned up quite high so it shouldn't be doing that but it seemed no matter what i did to this entire table for fifth and sixth gear i could not get this truck to do what i wanted it to until now you go over here to your torque converter okay torque converter and then you have basically the same kind of set of tables one for the ECM one for the TCM but the ECM only monitors first second and third gear which don't ask me why I think on the newer trucks they change that but you'll see there there's only three gears where if you open the TCM, you get all six. So what you're going to notice right away, see how fifth and sixth have the exact same numbers? Well, this is the issue. This is why as soon as it goes into fifth gear, it wants to go into sixth gear. And quite annoying if you're running, you know, larger tires, whatever, um, towing towing light that you're not in tow haul with the six gear turned off so i'm going to show you what i did this was a stock tune off of this truck and what i did was whoops right here there's what i've got smashed in for numbers And the truck behaves so much, so much better. Um, I just took it for a drive to test it to make sure this worked. Because, I mean, I was a little skeptical about adjusting the torque converter. Um, but I took it for a good long drive. It doesn't make any extra heat. Uh, when you hit a hill, the truck behaves so, so, so much better. It's just incredible. So that's your 5th and 6th gear issue. Even though you adjust your shift scheduling 
and you have tow haul mode and normal mode but uh, even though you adjust this stuff <coughs> excuse me if you don't adjust the uh, torque converter to basically match or come very close to you're gonna run into this issue now this program we're going to talk about tire size next this tire this program has what's called a gear tire wizard so when you open this up you can type in your tire size and your gear size and then you have three boxes to adjust your speedometer and scale the transmission which when you press that sorry um and as you'll see 513 gears but i told it it, it had a 35 i found when i put 37 in it was wanting to hold the lo lower gears too long but again this part here is a quick adjustment so you know if you went from a stock 373 truck like i did to 37s and 513s and a six <laughs> six speed transmission this will not be perfect so this only gets you close and that's my personal experience and that's what i find with every vehicle that i play with but it gets you pretty close um once you put this in and scale it uh it'll make changes to your speedometer in here so these numbers and it'll change all your shift speeds and it will change your torque converter stuff as well but the trouble is is how dialed down these are right from factory so the adjustment especially if you're running big tires like me 37s this is where you run into the issue um and just another quick thing when you use the gear tire wizard for some reason where we, okay for some reason when i change my truck to 513s it only changed the top one to 513 the bottom number remained 373 which obviously was not correct the 373 gears are gone so even when you do the quick wizard you still have to make a few adjustments and depending on your application like i said it'll only get speedometer and stuff close so my recommendation to you is save your stock file before you play with anything and when it comes to the speedometer this is the only part that affects your speedometer in your dash so if you find that it's out you can compare your stock file numbers to how much you adjust it and it's basically trial and error uh, that's where you run into a lot of money tuning if you're not willing to buy this stuff and do this stuff yourself um, You know our local tuner here where I'm at it's six seven hundred dollars to stop in and go on the dyno and have him tune it uh, If you've got major adjustments on your transmission and stuff I'm sorry to tell you, but there's no way in hell you're gonna get that all right the very first time the very first tune It's flat out not gonna happen So if you buy this stuff yourself, you take the time to learn um, You'll benefit from it and then when you have to make adjustments down the road You're not always going back to the tuner spending money wasting money uh, a lot of people aren't willing to buy this system, but it's very good money spent if you you know if you're wondering is it worth it well it's you know 800 bucks for the pro version and the first time you got to go to a tuner and have stuff done between your fuel and what you spend i guarantee you're going to spend at least three quarters of that and then if you need to make adjustments in the future boom you're back in there again so uh, i'll just put a little bit more information out there for you guys make sure make sure when you do adjustments you have to save before you can write if you just go in here and punch numbers and make adjustments and then go up here and bang click on write it's only loading the last saved file under that name 
so <clears throat> I made that mistake myself when I first bought this program like a little over a year ago I bit the bullet and did it so I've learned a lot I've read a lot probably more than I did when I was in school and it's definitely a learning curve the whole way around but uh, it's really not that hard to do guys especially if it's just tires and gears if you're not uh, into modifying the engine and stuff so it doesn't matter what the vehicle these tables should all be there you should be able to adjust them all you can adjust them all with the software so hopefully you guys are still watching if you are now i'm going to show you the final step when doing the 2007 and newer allison transmissions so after you do a vehicle right this step you do not start the truck you shut all this down and you open up your scanner and what you want to do is I actually got to connect to the truck to show you what you want to do is connect once you're connected you do not start obviously the vehicle is just the key on you want to go down here to controls and special functions and this is going to let, bring up a list of tables but the only one you're concerned about is transmission now my truck doesn't have it because it's before 07 but if you're 2007 or newer you're going to have a reset option adapt reset i believe it's called um, and you want to do that after you put your numbers in um, that being said make small adjustments because if you go big right off the bat away from the gear wizard if you use it um, you might find the first little bit the shifts could be a little bit coarse and basically Allison's do have the ability to learn some but it will take a little bit of time so just keep that in mind um, when you're tuning the newer Allison's that you have to do this step and uh, you know don't make big jumps unless big jumps are required because of gear size uh, tire size you know if you've jumped five or six inches in tire size obviously your numbers are going to be uh, a bit more drastic than a few inches but that being said, you can take a completely stock vehicle that you don't like the way it shifts and you can use this program and you can dial it right out of it. So, you know, especially if it's your personal vehicle that you get to drive, you're in the seat a lot, you know how it behaves, what it does. Um, so this is a great program. Uh, I wouldn't think twice and I never at one point felt that I've wasted money investing in this program you'll actually probably find that if you buy this you'll have people wanting to do stuff for you because they don't want to spend the seven hundred dollars to buy the program and you know it's a quick easy hundred dollar bill here and there when you can do this stuff